some short turns, but I turn it and I chip it. So what? I might have some heavy days, but fuck love. Had a had a wreck to wait. It's stay stuck. Yeah, my money. Yo, what is up guys, it is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new series that I'm starting where I focus on individual editors and how to actually pull off their editing style. Quick before the video starts, I just wanna say that over 70% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel yet, so make sure to drop a sub. It is 100% free for you guys to do, you can change your mind at a later date. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over two of the most OG, you could say, and popular editors in the community, Numby and Yarn. Check out their socials, that'll be in the description. And pretty much I'm gonna be breaking down their edit style gonna have presets down below in the description that I've created to almost replicate Their editing style gonna go over how you can actually pull that off in both DaVinci Resolve and After Effects With that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy the video All the downloads that you will need to access will be in the description and I'll see you guys in DaVinci Resolve to start All right guys, so I'm in a brand new DaVinci Resolve project Um I hope you guys like the new camera angle, by the way. I'm kind of experimenting with something new. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you are in a project 1920 by 1080 60 FPS as usual. And what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be using one clip for this because the presets that I've actually designed for this are almost for just one clip. And the thing about uh, the first editor, which I'm going to be highlighting, is Numby. And he's obviously, he's been around in the scene for a while. He's been doing highlights videos for pros such as Mr. Savage, Mitro, you know, clicks but um the thing about his main style the main components are it's just a super clean and it, it, it's more it's more focused around the flow of the montage itself it's not so much about having you know these insane over-the-top effects that you see editors like you know devour maxi pull off or montage editors like you know norcal shill stuff like that it's more of just the it's dependent on the fact that it, you know it's super clean the flow is good and uh the presets that i have for this are just a impact preset as well as a um, CC preset that he's using and I'll quickly put up on the screen right now just what kind of his impact looks like it's a nice little shake with an RGB in a bit of a glint almost like a, a tip like a, a tip of a not a tip but almost like a a hint of a glow if that makes sense but um, yeah I, I threw that up on the screen just there if you guys want to check that out and he uses pretty much the same impact on every single clip so it's more about the flow like I said not over the top with effects so the first thing we want to do is just we're going to select this part of the clip right here and I'm gonna be using one of cultures clips just for the sample of this you probably saw it in the intro and we're just going to drag it in we're going to find the part in our song I'm gonna be using the song so what by Rarin we're gonna find the part where he actually gets the kill right here this frame should be fine and then we'll drag out the left side i might cut down the song a tiny bit drag that over turn the volume down on the song just a tiny bit and just like that you know it's fully synced i'll play it back just so you can see that fully synced looking good to go and uh, all we get to do from here is right click unlink the clips right click again go into retime controls at a speed point on the kill and the thing about Numbies Velocity, which is what I'm going to be showing you right here, is it's not, he doesn't have a slowdown before the kill per se, but he has a, it's a, it's a slight slowdown into an acceleration, right? So for this, I'm just going to add a speed point almost right before the kill, just like this. And then halfway between, we're just going to add another speed point and we'll change the values to the default 50, 200, and then 50 like I normally do, just like this, 50. 250 just like this and we should just be able to do something like that which should be good and uh which is pretty much good enough if you want to you can have the 200 percent last a bit longer that way it skips over the kill almost a bit more which is kind of what numby likes to do in his edits i've noticed so just something like that should be fine um, but the next thing we want to do is just go to your effects library, grab an adjustment clip, and we're just going to trim it down so it actually ends at the very end of this clip. And we're actually going to go into our fusion tab once we've gotten to this point, and we're going to add the impact preset that I was talking about. So we're going to go to the folder, which has all the presets that you guys are going to be using, and you're just going to drag in your numby type impact preset. And by doing this, we're just going to disconnect these arrows right here and connect it on either side. And like I said, it should be good to go. Give it a second. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the preset that I've recreated with his shake. Uh, I noticed that there's almost like a tiny little Y shake, which I included in this, as well as a nice little tilt shake. 
which, ha which has almost like a screen pump built into it with the Z distance. But uh, yeah, if you guys download the preset, it will be 100%. It's it's super easy to use. It's just drag and drop and then this glint like I said It's a super slight glint. It's not like we have an insane like screen like a what's it called flashbang But it's like a 0.1% brightness glint, which is it, it's enough to kind of notice the difference I'll quickly show you what the difference between the two is with and without the glint. It's it's a nice little glow almost it's it's a subtle glow and I'll quickly show you if, if this does play back and doesn't render then uh hopefully hopefully it pays back if not i'll just put the sample up on the screen right now what it looks like yeah it's a bit laggy i'll i'll just put up on the screen what it looks like right now all right and then lastly for numby style what we're going to actually go over is we're going to go to our open effects and we're going to look up looks which is a magic bullet looks uh, plugin drag that onto your clip go into the effects library and go to edit look and what i'm going to quickly show you is how to actually make the uh, color correction yourself because the thing is about um, DaVinci right now, it kind of glitches when you put looks in the Fusion tab. So unfortunately, that's just something we have to deal with. Drag in a curves right here. And what you're gonna do is right around this point between, uh, it's almost like the second point right here. You're gonna drag that up a tiny bit and you're going to drag a point up at the top, the tiniest bit up, just like this. And I'll quickly show you what it looks like with and without. It kind of it's just a, a brightness increase with a tiny bit of contrast change but uh yeah all you got to do with that is just add curves to it um, super easy i just do that in looks because it's easy to control the curves and it's just a way to do that and like you can see it's just a it's a brightness difference and i noticed numby also adds saturation so if you want to add you know saturation and sharpness to your clip which is also a thing he's been doing to cc make sure to add that actually through the fusion tab if you want to do that but uh yeah that's pretty much how you do numby's style again Obviously, in this series, I'm going to be taking requests, so let me know who you want to see for the next episode. I'll be covering two different editors, so leave them down below in the description if you want me to cover their editing style. This is going to be a new series on the channel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for Numby. So I'll move on to actually how to edit like Yarn in DaVinci. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I've actually reset this project and ready to go with Yarn style. All right, guys. So I am in the exact same project. We have the same velocity on it that I did in the first part. If you weren't there for that and you skipped ahead through the timestamps, make sure to go back and actually follow along with the velocity part and then you'll be able to skip ahead. And I'll quickly just uh, delete the uh, magic bullet looks that I had on this. But uh, yeah, so the thing about Yarn style is something I noticed in terms of buildups he only kind of has he only uses a like a brightness contrast with a monochrome buildup sometimes it's not on many clips but he does use that kind of buildup he doesn't really use a pre-shake that's something I noticed and then for his impacts it's just a nice little you know RGB flicker with a shake an RGB shake by the way keep that in mind uh, but yeah I'll show you the preset I've created for this you're just going to drag on an adjustment clip onto this point right here cut it down on the right side go into the fusion tab and then from there we're just going to pull up our yarn preset for this and we're just going to drag in the impact. All right, so once we've actually added the preset, you can see that it is a Y shake, a tilt shake, like we did in the uh, Numby one. And then we have this RGB flicker thing right here. I'll quickly show you the settings for the flicker, which is, it's a super good flicker. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much our impact, just like this. It's not loading correctly, so that's why it's not really playing back. I'll just show you quickly, I'll pop it up on the screen, what it actually looks like with just the impact, nothing else on it, no build up, nothing like that. All right, and the next thing to do for uh, yarn style is we're just gonna drag our impact up one track and we're going to drag in adjustment clip down below. And for this, we're gonna make sure that we're exactly 40 frames before the kill. So uh, 29 minus 40 is going to be 49, I believe, right? For, in terms of the minutes, right? So, yeah, it should be, yeah, 49. So we go back to 49 on the previous minute. And just like that, that is, uh, that's 40 frames right there. But then what we're going to do is we're going to have it so it goes one frame after the kill. Just like that. One full frame. One frame just like this. Perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Fusion tab right here. And we're going to uh, go back to the yarn folder right here. We're going to drag in the yarn buildup. And what this should do is it should 
and we'll quickly connect it just like this. Sometimes the keyframing is messed up, but I will fix that. Um, yeah, the keyframing is messed up here, so we're just going to go back and I'll quickly show you how to actually add the keyframes. You're just going to go at the very beginning, keyframe the brightness at zero. You're going to go to the second last keyframe, keyframe the brightness at negative 60 around there, and then go to the very last frame, keyframe the brightness at zero. And then for the monochrome at the very beginning, I'm just gonna quickly remove all these free, all these keyframes, all these free frames. Keyframe the mix with source at the beginning at one, go to the second last frame, keyframe it at zero, and then the frame on after the kill, sorry, my bad, keyframe it at one. And just like that, we have a nice little fade, a nice little black and white fade just like that and i'll quickly just pop that up on the screen since it's being a bit laggy all right and now all that's left to do is add our ripple effect if you want to do that which is also something that yarn has been doing recently go into your fusion tab and we're just going to drag in the ripple effect preset you can just put it directly in your impact part right here and then for this we're just going to keyframe the radius at the very beginning at 400 and then wave not the wave with the uh what's it called inside radius at 250 and then go 30 frames after and you're gonna keyframe the radius to 1200 and the inside radius to around 1800 should be fine. And what that'll do, let me quickly just save it, is it should just add a nice little ripple effect. I'll put it up on the screen as well just cause it is being a bit laggy like I did say. Uh, but yeah, put that up on the screen. I hope you guys uh, did enjoy this part. That's pretty much going to be it. I'll put some transition presets in the description if you guys want to actually mess around with those. And uh, yeah, I'll just put some random zoom in out ones that I've seen them use in their own videos. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini series. I'm going to be covering this on After Effects in just a second here, but I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave your comments for who you want to see in. I'm trying to do these videos almost every single week with two different editors. So make sure to leave them down below in the description who you want to see. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the After Effects portion. All right, guys. So I am in Adobe After Effects. I am in a 1920 by 1080 composition. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to sync up my music with my clip that I'm going to be using. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I've done that. All right. So I do have this the uh, clip synced up now. So all we're going to do now is just go to your animation presets and find the folder you have this downloaded. So actually add the uh, velocity preset I'll have in the description this is a new velocity preset I made and then you're just going to line up the second keyframe with the kill and dropping, dropping. looking super clean and um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press control alt y on our keyboard and add an adjustment layer the first editor I'm going to be going over is numby I kind of broke down a style in the DaVinci part but what I said is he doesn't rely on a lot of over-the-top effects to get his style executed. He just relies on his clean flow, his clean impacts. Every single time, it's the same one. I'll put it up on the screen again. And it's a RGB shake with a bit of a glint. It's about of a hint of a glow kind of thing. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Just go to your animation presets, apply it, and then you're just going to apply the Numby impact preset that I've actually made. And what that looks like is something like this, where it's just a nice little shake. It's got a glint, and just like that, it is the entire impact, just like that. Dropping, dropping. Super clean, super, super, super clean. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's an RGB, it's like a little slight RGB shake with a glint, and he uses it on every single clip. And uh, yeah, it looks super clean, gets the job done. And the last thing to actually just show off Numby style, which is super basic, just go onto your actual clip, you're going to select it, go to your apply animation preset, and then add the CC that I'll have in the description. And sometimes this sharpen looks insane when you have it on quarter res. Like, look at this right here. It looks like insanely sharp. You can turn it down to something like a 40, but trust me, when you put it on full resolution, it won't look that much over the top, if that makes sense. You can turn it down to maybe like a 30, depending on what you think it looks like for the clip itself. And um, yeah, just make sure that you actually have it back down to the quarter res which you are normally editing on and just like that it is looking good dropping, dropping. 
Now what we gotta do is I'm actually going to wipe this project clean. That's how to do Numby style. You literally just to do that need to do that with fast transitions, hit your shot on every single beat, that kind of stuff. Now see you guys once I've actually wiped this composition clean and we'll start from scratch with the new clip. All right, so now I actually have another clip in here for so for yarn style. Uh, something I noticed, let me quickly add the uh, velocity preset just like this. Just line up the second uh, frame with it just like this. Nothing crazy. Um, the thing about Yarn Style is he does almost the same impact in every clip just like Numby, but he does have a buildup that he uses on some clips. It's like a monochrome opacity fade kind of thing where it just decreases in the brightness and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, I've had I've made those presets. He also uses the ripple shockwave effect, which I'll get to in a second. But the first thing, the first uh, main thing I want to cover is his impact. So just press Control Y on your keyboard to add an adjustment layer, and we're just going to go up to the animation and apply the uh, impact that I have right here, the yarn type impact. And what this is is it's a Y shake tilt shake combination with a RGB flicker on it. So I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So it's just a nice little. RGB thing and yeah just like that but uh, the screen pump is a bit too soon so let me quickly just change that just a bit you just adjust that depending on the clip but uh, yeah like you can see it's just a nice little RGB flicker with a Y shake tilt shake it looks super clean and uh, all that we got to do is add our build up our yarn type it we gotta add our yarn type build up, so just do this and then adjust it and then just maybe cut it down on the left right here a bit. And then you're gonna apply the build up preset that I'll have in the description in the Google Drive. Press U on your keyboard, highlight these frames right here, and then line up the second last keyframe with the actual kill itself. And what this'll do, like you can see, it'll just do a nice little monochrome, black and white, decrease in brightness kind of thing. And just like that, super clean build up for your impacts and he doesn't use it on every clip so try not to overuse this if you're trying to replicate yarn style um, I'll also have maybe the glow the similar yarn glow kind of thing that I have yeah, I'll have that in the description if you want to use that and then lastly I'm going to show you the ripple shockwave just go onto your impact adjustment layer add your ripple shockwave just like this and just like that I'm going to make this a tiny bit lower perfect and actually you can manually adjust sometimes it doesn't go out all the way so you can just change the inside radius just up a tiny bit and uh, yeah it should be good just like that so just like this but it's looking super clean with the ripple shockwave effect just like that I'll, p I'll put like it, the entire product up on the screen at points just with a different clip just because I was doing that in DaVinci and I was rendering out the, the parts with like each individual effect on it so uh, yeah you can just manually adjust the inside the outside radius if you want to 100% up to you just whatever you think looks best you can make it faster slower depending on what looks best for the clip itself that's definitely the most important part and uh yeah other than that that's pretty much how you pull off yarn style it looks super clean i'm going to do like i said this video i'm going to try for every week to every other week so leave two editors down below in the description if you want to see them and how to actually break down their style or how to edit like them i should say um i'll break down their style explain how you can actually pull off the effects kind of go into depth about the effects that they use on their clips uh, like I said, this one was just an RGB shake with a flicker and a Y shake on top of that. And then a monochrome brightness decreasing buildup with uh, just a kind of clean velocity. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see this uh, series in the future. And uh, leave me down below two editors that you want to see. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you guys later. Peace out.